know it's been a second since I've uploaded to this YouTube channel. I graduated college, a bunch of really cool stuff happened. It's been like the best year of my life, but I know I've been like not uploading on here, even though I kept saying over and over and over again that I was gonna post videos. I mean it now, I promise. I, it's probably not super common, like not every week, but at least somewhat consistency. I'm gonna be trying to post um, like studio vlogs and more like talking about my life being kind of 22 and like navigating like, I just graduated college as an art major and like what happens next, who knows? Um, anyways, this is my second ever sketchbook tour. Um, my first one was like super well received. I, it kind of like blew up. This one I'm super proud of. I think that this is like my favorite sketchbook I've ever done. It's been over a year, I think, since I finished it at this point, at the time of recording this. So it's old art at this point, but I'm still super proud of it. I also feel the need to mention that the commentary is like many months old at this point. So editing it back, I cringed a lot to be aged. If you, want to see more videos from me um i have a few other ones uploaded on this channel i'd super appreciate if you checked it out and stick around for the sketchbook tour so this is my sketchbook i like i said started it in april of 2022 and finished it around september of 2022 so this sketchbook took me less than six months to complete definitely not the pace that i'm set for with my current sketchbook it's been over six months with this sketchbook and i am only a couple of pages into it and i honestly like hate so many of the pages i've been doing a lot of thumbnails in this this is a lot more finished work to get into the tour right in um, this is the first spread. I like cats. I did a cat. I think I did this title page probably after everything else. This is the first real spread of the sketchbook. Uh, this was just a collection of like things off of Pinterest that I decided to draw. I really liked doing the moths, strawberries, because I have a theme of doing strawberries on the first page of my sketchbooks. I don't know if I'll keep it, but three sketchbooks in a row I've done it so you know um cat named Greg this thing named Timmy I honestly don't know what kind of animal he was all of the things in my sketchbook are going to have names because I stream over on Twitch I highly recommend that you go check out my stream for the most part anytime I worked in my sketchbook especially this sketchbook it was on stream and chat named a lot of the the things in my sketchbook this you guys saw if you watched my studio vlog it's just thumbnailing and color testing for the quote-unquote kitchen series. I did a terrible job explaining the kitchen series, so I'm going to cut in here and explain. The kitchen series uh, was my last studio vlog. I did a three-part series of like kitchens and memories through time, and it was kind of about queer domesticity. I don't know. I didn't really like how the final turned out. I'll put it on screen if you're curious. It's also in that vlog. Um, I think it turned out all right. I think that it was like good research and foreground to the kind of work that I'm making now. I think the work I'm making now is a lot more representative of what I wanted this project to be and I wasn't skilled enough at this point or knowledgeable enough to execute it and it was really cool to feel like over time I've learned how to execute this um, concept that I had you know back last like a year ago now okay and then here are some faces one morning I woke up like super early and just decided to and I think that they turned out really good I really like this one especially but yeah I was just doing some acrylic practice with faces I think I need to practice more with acrylic I think this was a pretty good study for me to do and then you're thinking about this right now every single day that I walk to class I pass a sticker that says that and I don't know where it's from I've googled it I have no idea and I really like it. I just, I don't know. You're thinking about this right now. I am thinking about that right now. Maybe that's dumb, but yeah. This spread, I was doing sketches from life over here. This one, I know there was something under here that I didn't like. Let's see if we can peel it up and expose myself. Past me would hate present me for this. Um, yeah, I, I still don't like it. I was trying to do like a from life like study, but I'm really bad at colored pencils and I'm really bad at um, landscapes, so I don't know what I was thinking. And then I painted this after I got back and did that on stream. I think my goal was to do like a subtle rainbow thing. 
I don't know. I don't really like how it turned out, if I'm being completely honest, but I don't hate it. I really like doing the moths from the first spread, so I did some more. I had a lot of fun with these. I was doing these a lot, like, bored during online classes. They're good, like, mindless, get stuff on paper. Same with the cats. Cats, honestly, I treat the same way. Good, like, mindless doodles. They're just kind of shapes. This one became a pin, and so did this one. Um, I might put them on screen for you. We did some faces from picture studies. This was a sketchbook Sunday. Um, so I did this on stream with everyone in my chat and kind of just practicing anatomy and realism because I'm not very good at either. And yeah, I honestly considered doing like 100 heads after this because I feel like this turned out really cool and was a lot of fun, but then I did not do it. Um, this one, I was just kind of messing around with this color. I had like a couple of um, markers and color pencils that were around the same color. I tried to learn watercolor on stream. That didn't really go anywhere. I don't use watercolor now. I don't think I will. Um, not in the cards for me, but it's fun to like learn new mediums. So I, I had a lot of fun with those streams and we might try again in the future, but I just don't think that the final outcome is something that I really want for my art. So I did kind of abandon it, but yeah, I stuck this in from that. This is one of my favorite spreads. His name is Bucket, he's a cow. And it was just like a sketchbook Sunday, like I put together a Pinterest board of different images and they all happened to be like dairy themed. And this is the first time that I did colored line art. And I think it honestly turned out so good. And I, colored line art kind of later has become like a staple of my work. I think it ties it all together. So this is the first time I really was like, I'm gonna use a bright color for my line art. And it's not the brightest, it is this like blue indigo color, but I think it looks really good. I really like this spread too. I was kind of in a flow at this moment. Um, just pen sketches from life, like some scissors that were at work. They're like sewing scissors. Um, my lamp over in the corner, a plant from my brain. This was at work. It's like a Teams phone. Uh, Dr. Pepper, another thing of Dr. Pepper. I have a problem. And then some fun from my brain stuff. Um, well, the mug was probably in person, the, but the, the rest was from my brain. Um, and going at a snail's pace, I would like to be asleep. I just kind of write stuff. This... <laughs> ignore this page. I had such a hard time with this spread. You can probably tell, but I covered it up like four or five times to the point where like I couldn't get it, like it just, it's ruined. But yeah, like the paper is like ripping up and it's like super textured, like it's just so bad. Like I just can't, like I can't even cover it. Like I, you can see like glue marks where I tried to like glue something over it and it won't even stay because this page is just so ruined. I could probably glue something to this side, but against this, it's just gonna look awful. So I just left it. Um, a gouache pride cat from a photo i painted him with gouache me and gouache are not besties me gouache watercolor me and acrylic are the only bestie mediums and like poscas but like poscas are acrylic i don't know i can't figure them out i cannot figure out water soluble mediums for the life of me if it can come back up with water i can't i can't do it i don't know but i did a pride cat this was like june so fitting and then some more watercolor practice i was following a tutorial and the tutorial these black lines would like bleed really nicely into the orange and i don't know how watercolor artists do it i don't know if they're using better paper this is a watercolor sketchbook but it is a sketchbook so maybe i need better paper i don't know how they make that work but i couldn't figure it out but these all have names brought to you by Kale Online, Sloppy Gregory, Gerber Baby Formula, and Rinse Cycle. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know, more watercolor experiments. I challenged myself to use green on this page, so I put together a Pinterest board of a bunch of green stuff, and these were just some random doodles to fill in the page. These guys, um, I really like this frog. I think this frog, his name is Left Sock, is like my favorite. I really almost wanted like, scan him in and kind of clean him up and make him cute um for like something else i don't know what i would do but i really like my use of like colored line art on him and 
his pink tones I, I just love him i think he's so cute um the other stuff you know it is what it is this was like a birdhouse it had like a hole in the back and i just drew it i don't know um girl with a rain jacket and an umbrella cat with a cell phone you know as you do um herschel is also pretty cool he's a bird i'm not the best drawing birds which is interesting because my whole branding is pigeons but i'm not too great at it i don't know uh this page okay this page is funny for multiple reasons <laughs> um this is a sketch for a watercolor illustration i did the watercolor illustration didn't turn out good but i think i'd still like to do this maybe one day in acrylic i don't know i had like an idea for it it was kind of based off of the wine about it set i wanted this like mauve background and these like monarch butterflies coming around i don't think it turned out very good i'd like to try it again um this is from a stream that i did forever ago on kale online's uh twitch account with me hannah and kale we were playing keep talking nobody explodes but me and hannah were both doing bomby manual at the same time and morse code is hell morse code is so bad so i illustrated that little moment uh we'll leave the best for last um <laughs> here's hamburger boy uh here is bathtub he's a badly drawn cat and then here is the piece de resistance of my entire sketchbook honestly monsieur theodore sweet ass van leopold the third uh, aka caked up frog um i just found this image on pinterest of this like frog doll with like the biggest ass and i just thought it was so funny so i drew it and then i drew a cowboy um named cowboy cory the wrangler carver he's here to wrangle that ass so he's here to wrangle that ass um some really quick figure drawing things i need to get back to this i'm so bad at these if you can't tell i'm horrible at this i don't know how to get better other than do it more i guess but i just feel like i'm missing something about figures and anatomy that everyone else has that i don't a lot of my professors are like don't draw the outline contour so much like draw like the inner movement lines and i just don't i don't see it i don't see how to do it who knows maybe i'll get there but these are all pretty short um and then i did some longer ones i think this one turned out pretty good but in general i'm just like kind of bad at this which means i need to do more of it but i don't know how to improve i feel like i just am not very good <laughs> maybe there's a reason i do stylized stuff and it's because i don't know how to do realistic stuff very well uh that is kind of a lie i feel like i used to be better at this this is another one of my favorite spreads this is a uh, still life from still here still life on instagram they post like still live reference images every week i believe and then they'll repost people's still lives and i did a pretty old one so i never posted it but um i just really liked this like this spread i just i love the tulips i think tulips are so cool and i loved the the arrangement of like the eggs Our eggs are so fun to draw and the chicken and the food and i don't know i don't know if it's this sketchbook or one of my last one it might be my last one but we did do a breakfast spread in that one and this reminded reminds me of that now i'm forgetting my order that's okay um then i just did some doodles i thought this like color contrasted nicely off that who knows honestly i love this one so much i would probably like make a print out of it if i felt like it was representative of the kind of art i make now but i don't know that it is but i am using this color this like purple color pencil for my liner it's not as vibrant as um the way i do my liner now which is like with a magenta acrylic paint but i think it's kind of the pretense to the way that i'd currently do my liner wow this is such a good spread so i don't know why i didn't come back to it but i finished the sketchbook six months ago so we're it's too late we're not going back um my first ever draw this in your style i believe um i did a series of draw this in your styles while i was playing around with kind of challenging myself to do new things um doing like a cyan catch light was a lot of fun and i struggle with hair which we knew but i relearned that i struggle with hair and then did some background sketches and some shading and stuff i don't know here is the sketches for this guy honestly i almost like this sketch better than the final lines 
I hate when that happens, um, but I feel like it happens all the time. I did a little thumbnail down here. Honestly, I might steal this. I might take a little photo of this and try and do an illustration based off of it. I just think I did this bed drawing like literally yesterday. I finished it and I hate it. So I might need to redo it with that sketch. We'll see. Um, I was trying to record a video on like sketchbook to make up for a missed sketchbook Sunday. LOL. My poor Twitch people, I used to care. I just skip streams now. Um, <laughs> and for some reason I did like realistic flowers. I spent like 12 hours doing these flowers not actually 12 but i did six actual hours the real number is six and i realized that it's gonna take me like the same amount of time to like finish all this and i was like i don't have time for this so i so i abandoned it um i don't i didn't really like how it's turning out like i think it looks fine but it just doesn't look like my art i don't know why um i tried to do some pen doodles over here but my pen is being bad on the spread i don't know frowny face so there's your explanation there did some more strawberries did another snail man um taped in this flower i don't know what that's from but i like him this i did a sketchbook video on a sketchbook with me um yeah some birds i have sketches in here of like emotes i eventually want to do i don't know if i'll do them or not this is a draw this in your style. I was covering up something here um, that I didn't like. It looks like little birds, little chicks. I don't know why I didn't like that spread. They're kind of cute, but I guess I didn't. Um, so I covered it up with my draw this in your style. Uh, this is a little star nerds, uh, draw this in your style. I don't really do draw this in your styles anymore. Um, I felt like it was, I don't know. I, I don't, I didn't really do them anymore. There's not really a reason um sketches of my character newt boo, boo, boo. here is my character agatha and crumb and then here's a random i almost said random bird because i was looking at the pigeon random butterfly someone said that it looks like a carrot so i wrote carrot its name is carrot now random person i drew uh not from reference i think just from my brain and then a pigeon and that's my last real spread because the last actual spread of this sketchbook is literally me planning like new icons and stuff and i abandoned all of this i like the pigeon branding but i've moved more towards the domestic home kind of i just changed all my stuff to be more of like the art that i presently make instead of like i don't know i felt like i was trying to like make my branding like something that i'm not and i realized i needed to just be like the art I make is like the best way to do that so that's what I did um I love that I wrote caked up frog here under my brainstorm list that's so funny um also cusses too much would be a better artist if sore less fuck so true me so true me for real besties who know no if you don't know don't worry about it um yeah so I was kind of planning some of that and then I planned my first spread of my next sketchbook and since this ends on such a bummer i know i was talking earlier about how i hate when artists are like my sketchbook's done and then it's all fucking empty uh, as a treat to make up for that i'll show you the first spread of my new sketchbook okay deal deal don't be mad at me i really like this spread i think it's so cute um too bad everything that comes after this i hate um so who knows we'll return to the sketchbook eventually eventually i will make a tour of this one so if you do want to see that subscribe i guess i don't know um <laughs> feel free to mainly i stream on twitch as i've mentioned ad nauseum so if you do want to see more of me and my art feel free to check out the links in the description oh also i didn't mention this is a Stillman and Burn sketchbook, the beta series. If you're curious what kind of sketchbook I use, that is the kind of sketchbook I use. Um, I highly recommend it. I think these are really good. I love the rounded corners. I love the paper quality. Um, they're expensive, but I think they're worth it. Um, especially if you go through them as slow as I go through them, they kind of last you a while. I don't know. Um, but <laughs> obviously if you go through them faster, maybe it's worth it to do something cheaper. Thank you for watching. I hope y'all have a good one. Goodbye.